We're here in Chickasha at the home of Joe and Carrie Hutmaker, and they've agreed to let us look around their property. I like this huge urn here on their patio off of one of their back doors. It's nice earthenware urn. It's very heavy, makes a dramatic statement in the garden. It doesn't even need to be planted. Great artistic element to their landscape. They've designed uh, lots of beds around the edge of their property, and their home in itself is really unique. It's a Frank Lloyd Wright type design of a home. It's got these interesting angles and roof lines, and here in one of the living areas, they have just a, a number of large windows that sort of wrap around the corner of the house, and from inside looking out, they get just a wonderful view of their garden and this wonderful lake out here near their property. Well, in the plantings that they've got around the house here and around some of these large trees, they have a, a mix of different perennials and grasses and shrubs. They have a tree peony, a beautiful plant, huge yellow flowers in the springtime, a wonderful addition to uh, any garden, a, a really neat specimen plant that I, I think anyone would like to have in the garden. They did a really good job of mixing the different colors. We've got some bluish glaucous, glaucous foliage of the dianthus here, contrasting with the golden foliage of the spirea here and back. And right here is one of my favorite perennials, the Magnus purple cone flower. Uh, great addition to any garden. Just look at the size of those flower heads. One of our former Oklahoma proven perennials. These plants do attract butterflies. You can see some of the little skipper butterflies feeding on the little disc florets of the purple cone flower. A good combination plant with the purple cone flower is the lamb's ears. Great ground cover, good drought tolerant perennial from the Middle East. It's got that wonderful fuzzy texture, soft feeling leaves of the lamb's ear plant. Another soft texture plant is the grass nearby here. This is Stipa tenuissima or the Mexican feather grass and this is such a fine foliage plant. You can see it's got a little bit of bloom here on the end with this nice blonde like color and just the slightest breeze just starts this grass dancing in the garden. Gives uh, just a wonderful element. Right up here is a unique flowering plant. These are known as blackberry lilies. You can see those flowers there. We've got sort of a double color going on with the petals and the sepals alternating there. And once those flowers fade, you can see they kind of twist up like this one's doing and it's starting to produce a fruit right there. And those are interesting because they give the plant its name. Once the fruit matures, it looks like a little blackberry. So a plant that gives you some interest in the summertime and again in the fall when it's got those little blackberry-like fruits adorning, adorning the plant. Right over here is another unique perennial. This is the balloon flower or platycodon. You can see these large bluish purple flowers and the plant gets its name because of the buds. You can see right here, they look like balloons. They're really puffy. Those petals are all joined there in the center, and then when they open up, it gives you these nice, large, bluish, purple flowers. Well, right over here we have the homeowners, Joe and Carrie Hutmaker. Hey, guys. Welcome. Thank you for letting us come and look at your garden here. You guys, when you moved in, there wasn't really much in this area. Is that right? Absolutely nothing. It, uh, the two trees that you see are, were here. The oak and but the other, magnolia. The magnolia, but other than that, it was just bare dirt. Okay. And uh, with her uh, design capabilities and my back, uh, this is the end results. Well, it looks great. Uh, and you, you've kind of had to experiment with different things uh, in the shade of the magnolias. That, is absolutely, that right? yeah. absolutely. We've uh, we found that weeds grow rather easily, but not too many other things. Okay, those uh, weeds always have a way to <laughs> get in there, don't they? Right. Yeah. Well, some of you might recognize the Huttmaker name because their son Kenneth helped sponsor the Oklahoma Hort Society Garden Tour for Connoisseurs that we had on our program just a few weeks ago. Well, guys, I surely appreciate you letting us look around your garden. Thanks Thank a lot. you. Thank you.